welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new to our channel, I'm Sue. And I'm Brian. And together with our two Westies, we like to travel in our Swift Challenger 580 called Maggie. And we like to go away on as many holidays as possible. And that includes during the winter. Yeah. Predominantly with our dogs. Yes, yeah. predominantly with our dogs. Um, and dogs, that's the prominent word for this vlog. Yeah. What have we done? We have an addition to our family. Yes. Yeah. We have adopted another little Westie, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Um, it all came about, as you all know, that follow our channel, we lost our little dog Kiz just before we moved to Scotland. And um, it took us some time to, to get over lose, losing Kizzy. Um, but but anyhow, we out of the blue, our friends, um, the Instagrammers, the Zamets, sent me a text one morning to say that at a local rehoming centre near them, um, they had a little Westie who wanted to be rehomed, which we did apply for. But before we could get to see her, she was actually no, already rehomed. But it, it made us think about having a third Westie wanted, particularly as just recently Millie had been diagnosed with Westie long. Yeah. So we were concerned that going forward, you know, hopefully in a long distance future, that Holly would end up on her own. Yeah. Millie's now 13, so we know she's at the yeah. twilight years oh, of yeah. her life. To yeah. it. But she's, in, you know, she's under treatment, isn't she? You she's know, under she's treatment. She's managing yeah. it really well. She's managing she's it really steroids, well. She's on steroids, a low, very low dose, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, but so so, it, so that really yeah that just made us think about yeah the so I contacted um, Westie Rescue Scotland um, and I just put a little picture of our dogs and explained what had happened and that we'd recently lost um, our little Kizzy and that we were ready to welcome a new dog mm. um, into our family and if they had any. Westies that needed to re rehome in to um, contact me, and so we were contacted. No, we were. We went through the home checks and we did a. We had to fill in all the the forms. forms and and we did a video home check when she went. Uh, Christine went yeah. through everything and she was more yeah. than satisfied with. With everything. Yeah. Well, as you can imagine, our garden's Westie secure anyway. <laughs> it is. Yeah. We've got a little Holly who would. You need you need everything. All, yeah, all the it's little. Very territorial. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. It's well secure for the yeah. dogs. Yeah. So and we need that peace of mind anyway. We did. We? Yeah. So Christine contacted me and said, "Was I still interested, uh, or were we still interested um, in rehoming?" And we said yes. And they said, "She said we've got little Mia if you want her." Well, that was it. We were. Yeah, we're beside ourselves. We were, yeah, we were so surprised. excited. Um, and she gave me the contact number of um, Mia's uh, foster carer so that I could give her a call and find out a little bit more about Mia, what her mm. likes and dislikes yeah. are, what sort of nature she was. Um, and I asked if uh, she would send um, me a photograph. And I got to know Caroline quite well with all the correspondence. Um, but the picture that she sent to me, took it, us it, took us, it took us back. Yeah. I had a tear in my eye actually because Mia's very much like Kizzy. Particularly in the facial. Yeah. You know, yeah. Area like. But her body's like that too. Yeah, similar, isn't it? Yeah. Kids yeah. weren't quite sure in the leg. But yeah, very, very yeah. similar. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, Caroline asked when we would be available and um, we, we set a date and on this particular date Caroline turned up with one of her friends Julie and it was mm. nice to meet Julie and we had a bit of an interest as well with Julie because she's just got a camper van isn't she? Yeah, so she's, we were, yeah. she's looking forward to going out touring. Yeah. Anyway um, little Mia arrived and she was a bit timid at first wasn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah, initially it was, yeah, she was very much kept herself to herself. She yeah. was wanting to go around with the other dogs, but not. Yeah. She wasn't full on, was no, she? No, far from it, Just she was just in the background, wasn't she? Yeah. Surprisingly, Dickie Holly, 
They were very good, were they, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, she was uh, on the journey to us. She was a little bit sick in the car, wasn't yeah. she? Excuse me. Um, but anyway, they dropped her off. They stayed for a little while to make sure she was settled in. They, she, uh, Caroline had a look at the garden and she was more than happy, wasn't yeah. she, to leave her with us. She knew that she was going to be well cared for. And so we got into a little routine with her, didn't we? Yeah. Fair play to Caroline. She's done a really good job with her. Oh, she? Caroline, I mean, she had a, another foster um, mum when she was first removed from yeah. this puppy farm. And um, her name was Lillian. And I think Lillian had her for two or three weeks before mm. she went to Caroline. Yeah. And I think Caroline had her for about eight weeks. Yeah, because she was near enough fully house training when we got her. Yeah, I mean, amazing. we've only had one accident, one, one accident yeah. since she's been here. Um, she, t she, you know, she's such a little poppet. Mm. She really is a little poppet. Yeah, you'll see that. In the yeah, <clears throat> she yeah. is. Um, she's a a really good natured dog. Yeah. She's a loving dog. She likes her cuddles. Um, she sleeps in between the girls, and um, she's we we've got her own bed, and she came with lots of gifts that mm. Caroline had given her, Lillian had given her, that sort of thing. Um, one of them is a fleecy blanket which goes inside her, her, her bed and then she likes her, her little um, fluffy blanket over her and she goes to sleep with her little toys all cuddled up with a blanket over her head and she stays there all night. Yeah, she's a good girl. She yeah. really is a, a, a good girl. She's, she's beautiful. And... Um, She's eating all right, isn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah, she's in during the time we've had her, so yeah, she's been 12 days. She's integrated well with the family. Yeah, she? yeah. I mean, she plays ballie, she likes to go out for walks, yeah. she loves chicken. Yeah, I have to, I have to sort of um, cook some chicken for her, uh, which the dogs are starting yeah. to like as well. And she's certainly feeling more at home because. Holly's not been used to sharing toys, has she? No, so, no. As she, as our friends the Zamets will agree. That. <laughs> yeah, and she tried to take Mia's toys off her. And yeah. Mia soon told her that. Wasn't yeah, gonna that wasn't going to happen. You're yeah. not having my toys. Which surprised Holly to say that. Yeah. So, so she now, doesn't. She's she a knows bit wary now. She knows, well, all she is, she knows his boundaries now. Yeah. So, which is a good thing. Yeah. And uh, but they play. You know, they will play together, won't they? Yeah. 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 So. We've now got three dogs. Um, we're going to start doing some car journeys, aren't we? Yeah. Um, just in to the get next used couple of days to get a bit more yeah. used to um, the car. She, we, we took her out the other day, didn't we? Yeah, she got and a bit she got a bit nervous. On the way home, really. um, yeah. So we're going to have to work on that one. But I think it's not much. Else, I don't really. think I don't think it's yeah. going to take long at all. Yeah. And today, today for the very first time, she barked. Yeah, a playful bark. A playful it? bark. The, We've the never other... heard a, a grumble, no growling, yeah, well, no barking until we, today. The other dogs, you can ask them what they want and they'll bark, won't yeah, they? You know, yeah. Lily in particular. And so, she, she copied it, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it, it was, it, I know not everybody would be the same thing, barking, oh my God, but it was quite joyful for yeah, us. Yeah, it was it? a playful bark yeah. it was to tell us that she yeah. wanted something. And a, yeah. she wagging her tail yeah. and her back end, so she's really, really quite yeah. happy. Mm. But she's definitely a lady's dog, isn't she? She, she follows me she follows all around. Sue. As soon as she hears Sue's voice, yeah, she's she, gone. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't go outside the room without her following me. No. Um, but I think you we do... <laughs> We don't know if she was mistreated or, we don't or whatever. Know we don't know so the background. We're just treating things as so we just, find them, don't exactly, we? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, and deal with them as we go along. Yeah. She's fine with me. She's getting used to me. She is, But yeah. she certainly, you can tell she, she likes the presence yeah. of you, doesn't she? Yeah. Which is a good thing. I'm just pleased she took to, yeah. to feeling settled. Yeah. Yeah. And she's... She's just... Yeah, she's, you'll see during the video she she walks great she's just a sweet little thing isn't she, she is and we just want to give her a good home don't we yeah yeah we do yeah. and uh i mean i know it's only been a short while but yeah. i think it's the best thing we've done it's good for our dogs as well because they miss kizzy as well yeah so having a, a third dog again they've well, got their yeah, pack back 
three dogs, quite a number of years. Yeah, we did. We? Yeah, yeah, three Westies, which yeah. are they're quite easy dogs to look at. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. So we've gotten a routine anyway. So yeah. we just settled in. Yeah. That where we was, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll let you see some footage that we've taken of her over the last few days, um, and then we'll catch you right back here when it's finished. See you in a bit. Now, Mia, here you are at the beach, dog. <laughs> it's a big yeah. girl. Here, Liz. She's a puppet, isn't she? <laughs> Where's Holly Bowl? Yes, yeah, here's your mate. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Hoped you liked that bit of footage and hopefully you can see that she is actually settling in and um, that and how beautiful she is yeah yeah we're just pleased that she's just talked to us yeah yeah and our dog yeah so we've got some thank outs um, the first two thank outs is for Mia's foster mums um, and that is Lillian and Caroline and you did a cracking job. Yeah, they've made our lives easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, she's she's just lovely, and whatever you did, you did the right thing. Oh, yeah. And she's a credit to you, ladies. And another big thank you to Christine Summers, who runs the site. And if anyone is sort of interested in rehoming a Westie or even supporting or even supporting yeah, them because they have gone through raffles and other events don't they? that's right yeah raise a bit of revenue um you can always 
contact Christine on Facebook. Um, yeah, there'll be a link below. Anyway, there will be a yeah. link below, so yeah. you can you can contact yeah, them if you're interested. She was a great support as well, wasn't she? Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Christine, for yeah, all your so support. So that's yeah. it for now. Yeah. So all, all that remains for us to say is thanks as ever for watching. Yeah, and if you want to continue watching Mia's journeys, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, uh, don't forget to like if you uh, like what you see. So you give us the thumbs up. Um, what else? You can comment, you can also press that notification bell and mm. you get to know every time you release another video. Yeah. Um, you can even share our videos via the social media media websites. So thanks for watching again yeah. and we'll see you in the next one. Take care folks. Thanks again.